Hello. Are you getting uh, this problem with Shotcut after you have created a video? And when you uh, save it all, as you should, and then you reopen it, you are getting this message saying basically there are missing files in your project. Now, I have had this problem on and off for quite a time and I haven't been able to cure it. And the other day I got it and I thought I am just going to stick with this until I cure it. And this is not to say it's the exact way you should do it, but it's certainly a way that seems to work. So first of all, let's just open this video clip up. And let's just reduce the timeline. And if I go to um, this section, this section, and this section, it is coming up with invalid. So there are basically two images, uh, one there and one there. So if you are getting this problem, this is how to cure it. So let's first of all shut that down and let's open up Shotcut again. And then we're going to go into open file and here is my last video clips and here is the uh, saved final uh, video itself. So if we click on that, sure enough, comes up with this error box. So the way uh, I found to get over it um, is first of all, make a note of which clip is missing. So that's a JPEG file. 4841 so double click on there and there it is 4841 so just double click on that come down to the next one which is 4854 4854 double click on that and then click OK so then you are presented with this page and you have the original saved clips and you have the new one here. Now you have to rename this, but you can't rename it up here because it just says um, this file already exists. So you have to come down to the bottom where it says file name and rename that. So that's what we're going to do now. And we're going to name it missing files. And then come down here, save, and then it reopens it up in Shotcut. And if we reduce the timeline, we come down here and sure enough, there is our completed um, video clips. So that has rectified that. So now if we close this down and we come back into Shotcut and want to reopen that video, Come up to open file. You do not go to the original one, which is this. In actual fact, you can delete that if you want to. You come up to the one you've just renamed, which is missing files. Open it up. And sure enough, all the clips are there. So, yeah, that is how I did it. As I say, it may not be exactly the right way, but it certainly seems to work. Whenever I have a problem with a computer or programs or whatever, and I rectify them, I do like to share it on YouTube because if you are having the same problems, it can save you an awful lot of time and head scratching. So if you would like to support this channel and if you found this uh, video helpful, there is a link below called Ko-fi where you can um, be uh, generous if you like and buy me a cup of coffee. If you do, bless you for that. Thanks very much. So I hope you found this video uh, helpful if you've been having this problem. Um, until the next time, this is John Dexter saying bye for now.